Hey guys, Asia here, and today I'm going to do the music tag. The music tag is a cool way for you to get to know what type of artist and music I'm into right now. And all of the people I mentioned will be linked below so you can check them out later. And here we go. Number one, uh, your favorite band or musician at the moment. Okay, anyone that knows me knows that I love Tori Kelly. I think she's a great vocalist, artist, musician, songwriter. Uh, all around, she's just a great artist and uh, she's up and coming, so be on the lookout for her. And yeah. Number two, what, what? One band or musician you always come back to. I take this question as someone you've been a long-term fan of, but I would say I've been a long-term fan of Demi Lovato. And she's an artist where anytime she's releasing music, I buy it without even listening to the previews. Um, I'm just a devoted fan and I think, hopefully I always will be. Number three, Favorite movie soundtrack? Um, I would say my favorite movie soundtrack is The Lion King because that is my favorite movie of all time. Number four. Ooh. What is your favorite song of all time? Hands down, my favorite song of all time is Alabaster Box by CC Winans. I love that song, love CC Winans, and it'll probably always be my favorite song. Number five. What? What is the most embarrassing song in your iTunes? Okay, so this is very embarrassing. I have a song, I have a couple songs, but I think out of all of them, this is probably the most embarrassing. I have the Cat's Meow from the Barbie Sings Princess movie album. I really was into... Um, musicals at the time and I thought that I wanted to be a Broadway singer but I shortly realized that I didn't want to do that but I was really into like trying to sing this song and sound like Barbie as if it wasn't already embarrassing enough I wish I could say this was in my childhood but this was a couple years ago <laughs> oh gosh I'm a nerd okay number six the top three played songs on your iTunes. I can't actually see that on my iPad, but if I had to guess, I would probably say, I'll just guess who the top three artists played on my iTunes. Of course, number one, Tori Kelly. Number two, probably Ariana Grande right now. And uh, number three, maybe Elle Varner. I'm into her. If you haven't heard of Elle Varner, down below, check her out. She's another up and coming um, those top three, th those probably aren't my most played songs on my iTunes overall, but I think right now those are my top three played artists. So, I kind of didn't answer the question, but you get it. Number seven. Favorite concert you've ever attended? Okay, so I don't want to keep saying Tori Kelly, but when I went to her show, that is definitely my favorite concert I've been to. I got to meet her that night. She signed my guitar that night. She hugged me. We took selfies. Like, it was just the all-around ultimate fan experience. And I hope that she never changes and that she stays as humble and as sweet as she was um, that night. And I'm pretty sure that she will. But because of all of that, on top of an amazing live performance, that is my favorite concert I've ever been to. All right, number eight. Can you see it? Who is the most underrated musician in your opinion? Uh, this question is kind of hard because I listen to a lot of singer-songwriters and singer-songwriters in general are usually underrated um, in the industry. But if I'm going to go with someone who's mainstream and don't stone me for this, I'm going to say Justin Bieber. Now hear me out. Underneath all of the crap, all of the image and all of the saggy pants and all of the trouble and mischief, underneath all of that lies an actually talented young man. Now, he does need to do some life changes because all of the things that go on around him distract from the fact that he actually is a talented singer. And I really hope that he kind of simmers down so that people can really see that he's talented and that they won't be so distracted by just all the craziness that happens in his life. Number nine. All right, the last question is your favorite quote or song lyric. Um, I would have to say my favorite quote is 
I can do all things through Christ whom strengthens me. I really do believe this quote is true and I live by this. As soon as you say, I can do all things through Christ, well, someone says, oh, well, you can't fly. You know, they jump to something very extreme like that. And yeah, you're right. I can't jump off a cliff and fly. But I really doubt that if I'm being led by Christ, he would lead me to jump off of a cliff <laughs> so you have to keep the quote in perspective it says i can do all things through christ it doesn't say i can do all things and that's why i love this quote if you put him first the possibilities are endless all right that sums up the music tag i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up all the links to follow me are below in the description, as well as links to all of my favorite artists and songs that I talked about in this video. They are also linked below. Please don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye!